up plant people what's up guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm gonna do kind of like a vlog style some chores and at the end i am going to be announcing the giveaway winner yeah so make sure to watch make sure oh my gosh <laughs> That's so 956 of me. Make sure to watch till the end to find out if you won this giveaway. <laughs> Thank you guys for being patient on this video. I know it took a little longer than the rest of the videos, but anyway, here are some cool things that I got at the flea market. I got some produce and a cool Star Wars shirt. We like that. I got this cute turtle. It reminds me of the little Mexican trinket boxes that have like a little ladybug with the wiggly legs. <laughs> if you know, you know. I haven't seen those in a while, but at least I found this cute cute dude. I got these squeeze bottles from Amazon so that I could more properly get into the nooks and crannies of my smaller plants and I got two so that I could put fertilized water in one and then distilled water in the other one and yeah I just wanted to get a more precise like water distribution on my smaller plants so I got these squeeze bottles and I'm also going to be using them to fill up some of my smaller propagation stations. What I really like about these bottles is that the water doesn't come out of them unless you squeeze it. That's really nice because then you don't have to worry about spi spillage. Just little señora things, you know. So here I am planting my lavender and my mint that I got from Target, the Buzzy self-watering grow kits. And yeah, I'm just gonna be doing this process very quickly since I've already shown it before on my channel. We'll just see how these people do. I'd really love to have some lavender and mint and all of the herbs because then I don't have to have cilantro spoiling in my fridge and I could just freshly cut it and basil and mint and anything. <laughs> This is my old lavender that's obviously not in a self-watering kit, but I'm still watering it and well as you can see it hasn't died and it's actually kind of growing so I'm not gonna give up on her. She's just trying, so I'm gonna try. <laughs> okay, but I really want to talk about my cilantro though because it's kind of like wilting, turning yellow and stuff when it was previously growing very well and online it said that it's maybe a lack of water or a lack of sunlight which I don't know if it's either because well by this point it was dry for one day I mean it's kind of hard for it to dry up in a self-watering pot so yeah I mean I don't know the basil's doing okay there's some browning but I don't know if that's normal is it normal tell me below please garden people help Just wanted to show you the new blooms on my Hoya Lacunosa again. This is the second time she blooms for me. It smells so nice. So if y'all remember, I did make a trellis for this plant in one of my previous videos because she was kind of dying. Yeah, get your Stefania a trellis because she'll be way happier that way. Okay, um, here's my next plant. Her name is Begonia Pink Minx. This lady has not stopped blooming. <laughs> She'll open up a bloom and it'll be open for about a day to three days and then it'll just drop and it just opens each bloom one by one so it's really cute. Every day there's like one open. That's one that just fell today. You can see there's more there. Yeah, she drops them like crazy so it's a little messy but so worth it. I really enjoy these blooms. I have this plant facing me right at my desk so it just makes me happy to see it blooming every single day. She's in the middle spot and she's happy. Otherwise, I don't think she'd be doing this. 
actually before I put this begonia in the mills bowl she was just dying and not doing anything so I know she wouldn't be doing anything outside of the mills bowl thank you mills bowl dragon scale or silver no alocasia silver dragon I'm gonna get this super cute pot my stepmom gave me so this is a birthday plant that I got at a market in San Antonio Texas so her leaves at the beginning were honestly laughable she's putting out real good growth she looks so cool like it looks like dragon scales it looks even better in camera it does what the heck it's like the camera brings out the colors in it but yeah she's good that's what i get for trying to be quirky look at her roots though she's doing so well um yeah this is probably why she needs to be watered so often. She's very uh, root bound. Yay! She's fine. <sighs> Cut this sphagnum moss. Root. Mm. The sphagnum moss that they use in this plant smells very good. Right. Next plant. Hey, this is my philodendron melanocrysum. This is the newest leaf that's put out. Isn't it so beautiful? I love when they come in because they're this bright orange color that's so contrasting against a mature leaf such as this one. I love this plant so much. So the last leaf did have a little trouble coming out. It almost beheaded itself. That black spot right there is where it almost beheaded itself because it was just having trouble coming out. And yeah, so I sprayed it, it kind of helped, but the leaf came out a little bit wonky. It was more orange on one side and more green on the other. Yeah, that leaf came out and then I wasn't even expecting another leaf and this one was already out immediately after the last one even though the last one had so much trouble coming out i think i just took a little bit longer to water it and that's why it kind of beheaded itself i feel like that that happened it is in a self-watering pot like right now it's not so full so that's why i'm like eh. i usually try to make sure that it's filled up to here with water and then there's a wick that moistens the entire soil this plant is like almost always really wet so i was kind of like that's the second time that it tries to behead itself. The first time it did behead itself. And this second time I was like, no, you won't. So it survived. And then the new one, though, is like the star of the show right now. She's so beautiful. I love this plant. I love this plant so much. This Anthurium crystallinum. Here we go. Here's the leaves that she came with. These two. These two. In my home her first leaf in my home. After that, she put out this huge, massive one. And because of this one, I did have to stick it up with this pole here because it was just toppling over to one side. So now she's growing this baby leaf here. This is the newest one. You can see it's a different color. It's a little more orange than the rest. Um, she hasn't hard enough. This is the first leaf that she puts out out of the Ikea Mills Bowl cabinet, so I'm really hoping that it's gonna be as big as the past one, which was, this is, this is it. She's bigger than my head. Yeah, almost bigger than my head. And also I'm really excited that it's growing on the other side, so that way the whole plant will be like balanced out. But yeah, I love her so much. This plant is so beautiful. If you want an easy anthurium, I have had a magnificent in the past, and I don't know if it came with pests already or what, but it did die, and it did look like it came with damage already, and it didn't look very good, honestly, and it died, so. Um, this is my first anthurium that I own that I am able to keep in my home, and I'm really proud of it. I mean, with good reason. Look at her. Mr. El Choco Red. So hot right now. Look at him. This is the plant that I got myself as a reward to, what, reaching 100 subscribers. <laughs> I don't know. I saw somebody else do that, so I was like, why not? I have to set up this. No, but um, I have him in my Kim Mills Bill cabinet. This is his first leaf in my care. So I am over the moon for this. I repotted this Luxalis in one of my recent videos. He has sprouted now, <laughs> and he's even flowering. Here's my elbow. Oh, here she is. Look at her new leaf that just unfurled. Isn't she so beautiful? 
I love, 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 love this leaf because it has sectoral and marbly and minty variegation and I just leaf. And the fennies, the fennies are growing. I love it, it didn't have as many before. The last leaf only had three. This one has five. So we're moving in a good direction. I'm so excited. Yeah. Also, I'm so proud of this girl. I had to shout her out. This is my single heart, Julia Carrier. She wasn't supposed to do anything and she's doing the most. I'm just so surprised. I actually had gotten this Hoya Carrier in 2020, I think. And I had no idea that what you weren't supposed to buy single heart Hoya Carriers because oftentimes they don't grow into full plants and I wanted a full plant. So I ended up getting another one that was um, more than three leaves long because that's what people suggest to get and now this girl she showed me okay shut up shut up i didn't say anything yeah she's doing the most and she's been so neglected you guys you can see the damage on these leaves these past leaves because i forgot to water it for a while and yeah that's what happens when you do that so but look at her she, she's a warrior and she is the moment Here's a small update on my El Chaco Red. It has already put out a leaf in my home and it's actually bigger than the past two leaves that it came with. So that's super exciting. And then this new one is actually another new leaf that's going to come out. I'm just removing what is, I think it's called a catafil. I think it's called a catafil. Just to prevent any pests or fungus or anything do know that pests like to hide in these things so I don't like pests and I don't like the way it looks so Here's what the back of the newest leaf looks like. It's redder than the ones that it came with. It's not as red as some that I've seen online, but I've heard that you can achieve that really, really red back by using actual natural sunlight as opposed to artificial light, which this leaf got. So yeah, you can see it is, it is red, but I've seen redder. Maybe now that it's put out its first leaf in my home, I may be thinking of moving it out of the mill spot and see how red it gets with sunlight. So I recently ordered these two watering cans. One is gonna have distilled water and the other fertilized water, just like my other these bottles, but it's a watering can. And I really like these watering cans because, well, first of all, they're very cute. I really like the style and the price was good as well. And then the spout comes with this cute little flower attachment which makes the water fall out kind of like rain so more softly you know when you water you kind of like water a little bit then wait then water then wait well this makes it kind of like rain it just flows slowly through the soil getting it to just soak it all up and i mean just look how cute the little flower looks on the spout it is so adorable i haven't seen the watering can with the flower on the spout and just with this cute vintage look yeah i really like these so here comes the moment we've been waiting for. This giveaway was done in a super old school way. Yep, we're using little papers, guys. We figured since it's a very small pool, we can probably get away with doing this this one time. Maybe next giveaway will be a little different, but this time we thought it was a cute idea to do it this way. It is a little bit different than your usual paper raffle thing. You'll see. Ay, está dormida. Hey, look. What is that? What is that? Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Who is it? Jordan Lambert. Jordan Lambert. There you go. <laughs> Can 
congratulations, Jordan Lambert. And thank you, Keiki, for helping us pick the winner. Keiki, congratulates you. Okay, that concludes this video. Thank you so much to everyone who participated in the giveaway. I'll be contacting the winner, Adam Lambert. I'll be contacting you by replying to your comment in the giveaway video. You know, the one that you commented the hundreds on and all that? Yes, yeah, that one. So, yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give it a like. If you want to comment anything, feel free to do so because that really pushes the videos as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, plan people okay but the best part about ending your recording is turning on your ac am i right yeah